today I'm going to show you how to blow dry naturally curly hair without damaging it. Right now I'm going to be working with freshly washed, conditioned, and deep conditioned hair. Check out my last video and you can see how to do that. What I'm going to be using today is my blow dryer, a curly diffuser, and leave-in conditioner. I would recommend some sort of heat protectant. If you want to use the oil, that makes a great heat protectant. Or, I personally don't like having my hair super oily, so I would recommend this. Um, I'm not quite sure where it comes from. I got it from TJ Maxx, and it's Argan Oil Ultimate Reform Hair Serum. I love this, one, because it smells great, two, because it's not super thick, and it feels like it's the only type of oil that's actually ever worked on my hair. Oh, this is what it looks like, it's like a, a little serum. I use it if I'm going to flat iron my hair, I coat my hair with it, um, or blow drying it just to give it that little extra heat protectant. To start off with blow drying, I'm going to section my hair. I work from the back on up. What I would suggest that I can't live without would be these elephant clips. So these are amazing. They're strong enough, way stronger than bobby pins. Bobby pins do not do anything to my hair. They hold my hair in place where it's supposed to be. It's great. You can get them at Sally's or anywhere. Walmart even, I think, has them. They are amazing. Take the elephant clips, uh, pin up all the hair that I'm not going to be using. I take some leave-in conditioner or some heat protectant and just do one final coating because you don't want to damage your hair for blow drying. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Next, we go ahead and we take the diffuser attachment, and you can get this also. I got it at Walmart. It actually came with my blow dryer. It's great for curly hair. So you take it and you attach it, and then you start blow drying it. Start on a medium heat. You don't want to put too much heat on. It's not good for your hair. Start blow drying. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the diffuser attachment on one end and I'm holding my hand with the other so the heat kind of gets trapped in and it dries my hair. Also I'm stretching out my hair a little bit. That helps to add to the length and gives you the big fro look. Just make sure you're pulling it a little and then getting the roots as dry as you can because if those are still wet it's just going to shrink right back up. Well, there you go, one section down. You saw how short my hair was before, it was like here. And then when you blow dry it, it goes all the way down. It gets a nice length. But the drawback is it does have that little frizzy look to it, so it's gonna have that nice froey look. If you don't want that, I would suggest putting your hair in like so and then blow drying it like that way. That way you're gonna keep your curl pattern, but you're not gonna get that length stretched out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work through the sections. So put some conditioner in. Put some heat protectant in and work your way through. I'll show you how to do it without a diffuser attachment. It's the same thing. Keep it on medium heat. You might want to go medium to low heat just because that heat isn't being diffused throughout. Otherwise, yeah, it's good to go. I don't have to worry about walking out of the shower with my hair like a length and then halfway through the day it's like or I don't have to worry about okay well if I want to lay my head like this then when I you know how it goes lay your head down you put it up and it's whole flat I know what it's gonna look like all day I can put it in your ponytail so much easier I can work with it This style will last me for about a good week, at least. You can stretch it for longer. And my other styles, I would have to wash my hair every single day because once you go to sleep and then wake up, there's no going back from there. You don't have to have a perfectly even part because 
no one sees it. The bigger the better. If this isn't big enough for you and you want it to be even bigger, what you can do is you can take a brush and kind of comb it just a little. This is what my hair looks like after I blow dry it. That's how you get from that to this. 